Hi, I just thought I'd do a short video on how to um, hook up the um, PC to two screens and this uh, uh, using Windows 10 and in this case I've got a PC screen and that's uh, linked into um, TV so I'll just show you the bits and pieces involved. So first off you need to plug in some cable connection between the PC and the screen. So in my case I've used one cable to go through to the monitor, PC monitor, and I'm using an HDMI cable to go through to the TV. So the HDMI, sort of that shape, and then alongside that I've actually got the display port uh, connector, which is quite new, to the PC monitor because that can carry a 4K ultra high defi definition signal. Um, if you're old school, you can do it using a VGA cable. If you've got a VGA connector on the back of the computer, and the VGA looks like that. And again, that can go back uh, to your TV screen. It's got a VGA input. Now that will only carry the video, not the sound, whereas the HDMI will carry sound as well. If you want to do sound, you'll need, uh, on the VGA, you'll need um, audio out jack, which is like that, from the PC. And somewhere on the line, you'll need a, probably need a splitter cable to get it to go to the dual input on the receiver. Um, it may, it may, may not be necessary, just check what you've got on your TV. And the dual input um, splitter, so it looks like that. So you've got one cable coming in one side and two going out the other. Right, so that's the cabling. HDMI can go to the back of your TV if you want it to be nice and neat. So there you can see there's an HDMI cord going in. I've got it. You need to just check what the input number is on it. So, a um, bit of focus here. So there'll be a label underneath it saying what HDMI 1, HDMI 2. Right, now I haven't got the cables connected. And then go to the second screen of the TV in my case. And you'll need to, I say, remember what the um, HDMI input number was so that on the Selection, you can see the top or the left. Uh, where are we going? We've got HDMI. Oops, keeps the spin on me. Input one, I'll put it in. So, missed again. So, let's try it again. HDMI input one. Right, so the screen is telling me I've relabeled it as new PC, but that's the HDMI input one. And then down on the PC monitor, well, I've got the sound moment, it's what a friend of mine showed me recently, which is very, very useful or helpful. There's this button down the bottom right. See that right in the far right hand corner, it's Windows 10. Press on that, and it comes up with what's called the notification panel. And down the bottom of the notification panel, all these things you can check. And the one you want is one called Project. Is that isn't Project as in computer project, it's Project as in projector. 
So you click on that and then further up the top of the screen comes all the options. So at the moment I'm on PC screen only. I can go to duplicate which means I get the same screen on the second monitor so I'll press that and there we have a complete duplicate of the two screens which is quite nice I can do extend uh, which means I can I think bring up a second screen so if I bring up say the Spotify screen and I can drag that so you see I've had to minimise it and drag it across to the second screen there we go and enlarge it there so now see I've got I can go back to my first screen again I can then go to say lots of page so I can have different things running on two screens and that's under the function of uh, where are we extend now if I, do, if I don't want to have this screen on, so I've got a movie playing, so I don't want this screen on, I'm going to obviously switch off the um, monitor, or I can just go second screen only. And that just blanks it out, so I'm now only on this screen up here. So the PC monitor goes to this screen. So that's quite a handy feature. Of the of the um, Windows 10 functionality.